we're, we are what we eat. If we're eating the milk and meat of unhealthy animals that are intentionally obese and, um, and medicated, then how healthy are we going to be? I came to farming through cheese making. Um, I wanted 100% grass-fed milk um, and had, could not convince any of the farms supplying me with milk to give up the corn habit. Corn is an economic addiction for dairy farmers. Once they start feeding corn silage to their cows, they get a huge surge in milk production. Uh, it also raises their costs and it shortens the life expectancy of the cows and it also crashes the quality of the milk. But there's a lot of milk. <laughs> so we make 100% grass-fed raw cow's milk cheeses, uh, about 12 different varieties according to season. We bake breads in a very large uh, wood-fired oven um, using heritage grains. We look for old varieties that are uh, require, uh, they're more sustainable, they require less water, they don't require herbicides, they don't require fertilizer. My object in the bakery is to use the most natural and historic seed strains that I can purchase. I love to craft something from its raw components. Or wheat in particular has been a staple of the human diet for at least 10,000 years. It's inconceivable that any significant portion of the human population would be truly allergic to gluten or intolerant of gluten because those genes would have fallen out of the gene pool somewhere in the last 10,000 years. So I don't think it's gluten, I think it's the genetics of the plants that are producing uh, the gluten. Um, because we're hand forming our loaves uh, and baking in a, wooden, in a wood fired oven, uh, we prefer the old varieties of wheat anyway. There are thousands of regular customers of ours who had not eaten wheat in years and years who tolerate our breads beautifully. The cheese making starts out in the pasture with the cows. On the farm, we milk once a day, we make cheese once a day. We do it seven days a week. It's a much, much simpler process. The opposite of sustainable is not conventional. The opposite of sustainable is unsustainable. A big part of what we're attempting to demonstrate at Bobolink is that you, a family can support itself and thrive farming in a responsible, sustainable form. We've seen quite a bit of climate change. The last three years have each been the hottest year on record. I think the local food movement is so important.